new Cardi Kaizoku video. Need a watch? Cardi Kaizoku. This video is sponsored by Card Market, Europe's largest online marketplace for trading card games. This video is sponsored by Sleeve Cheap. Use code Card Kaizoku for an additional 5% off your order. Alright, our first OP08 deck breakdown, and it's gotta be Mono Yellow Kolgar, alright? It's the leader I've been hyping up even before 08 released. It was a leader that I looked at the curve at, and I was like, wait, this is actually pretty good. I actually even did like a whole video on his curve. I'll have it linked in the description below. I think all the information still is relevant. The only thing I mistook was I thought uh, Mont Blanc Norland was a Shandoran Warriors, but he's not. But other than that, everything else in the video still relevant because that's how we're going to play this deck. So uh, let's take a look at the leader, yeah? Kalgara is a mono yellow leader with 5,000 power and 5 starting life. Down times 1 when attacking. Put a character with the Shandorian Warriors type from your hand into play that has a cost equal to or less than the number of Dawn you control. Then if you played a card, put the top card of your life into your hand. So yeah, this is a very aggressive oriented yellow deck, which is why I kind of like it. You're able to cheat out free bodies essentially, because for just one Dawn and attacking with your leader, you can cheat out a character with cost equal to the number of Dawn you have. So it's like you're able to play two characters for like kind of the same cost per turn, but you do have to take a life. So yeah, it's like a delicate balancing act. But with that out of the way, let's take a look at the deck list. We're running four OP05 Ohm. So Ohm is four cost 5k power. What he does is if you have two or less life, he gets plus 1000 power. So he's a vanilla stat line when you're low on life, which with, given our leader ability, that will naturally happen as you're taking life to cheat out characters. But what makes Ohm really great is he also has an on play. You can look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal up to one holy card and add it to your hand, and then place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. And then you can play one holy from your hand. So these two effects are actually independent of each other, right? They don't, they're not prerequisites of each other. So if you do happen to find a holy, great. But if you don't, and you already have one in hand, you can play that holy from your hand. So it's four dawn for two bodies out, which is why he's great. And he even has counter too. Four OP05 Satori, five cost, 5,000 power, 2k counter, which is why we run him. And he's a Sky Island type card, so he's searchable in this kind of deck. And he has a great trigger too. Trigger, you can trash a card from your hand and then play this card. This helps you with surprise lethals that your opponent didn't account for. Just having an extra body to pressure and then like get rid of dead cards in your hand is great. And yeah, he's a 2k counter and then uh, emergency 5 cost 5k body in the late game if you need it. 4 OP05 Shura, 2 cost 2k power. So he's the searcher for our deck, is an on play searcher. You look at the top 5 cards, reveal up to 1 Sky Island. Type card other than Shura, add it to your hand. And then he has a trigger too, unlike a lot of the other 1 cost searchers. So trigger, you can play him for free, so he's great to get out of your life too. And yet he finds pretty much everything in our deck except for Mont Black Norland, unfortunately. 4 OP05 Holy. Just a 3 cost 5k vanilla that is searchable by that ohm, right? This is part of that ohm holy combo. I think he's called Holly in English, but I'm gonna still call him Holy. Well, I call him the dog in my videos. <laughs> 4 OP06 Wiper, 5 cost 7k power. So he was released in 06 without really a home, but now he found a home in this Kalgara deck. It's mainly for this Kalgara deck, because what he does is on play, you can return one cost one stage to the bottom of its owner's deck, which will be the upper yard in all cases in this deck. And then you can look at the top cards of your deck, reveal it to one upper yard or a Shandoria warrior type card and add it to your hand. Then you can put the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. So yeah, this helps turn the one cost stage cards that you play out early to search into another search, right? You're getting two searches out of that one cost stage card. You could even search into another upper yard, oddly enough. So you could prep for another search that way. That one's a lot more like convoluted, but it's an option. And yeah, he's a five cost 7k body. So that's stat efficient. He just doesn't have counter. So he can be a little bricky in your hand sometimes. But this is a great card to cheat out when you're at 5 Dawn with your leader ability, by the way. 1 OP07 Frankie, 4 cost 5k power, 2k counter, similar to Satori. Except uh, this Frankie, when you trigger it, so you always draw one card with it if you want to trigger it, but you only play him out as a character if you have one or less life. Which is not too hard with this deck, but we only have him as a 1 of. Why? Well, because I saw some like <laughs> winning Kalgara list that ran a 1 of, so I thought, me too. 4 OP08 Kalgara. So he's just a 6 cost 8k vanilla. Really, that's all he is. But he is a card that we can cheat out at 6 Dawn with our leader ability. That's a pretty strong temple swing, being able to cheat out at 6 cost and then with our 5 remaining Dawn, play out another 5 cost. But yeah, this is the largest Shandorian warrior type card as of now, as of OP08.5. They could print one in OP09, but that set hasn't been fully revealed yet as of the recording of this video. And it's looking like that may not happen anyway. So this is going to probably be the best that we get. <laughs> so we'll work with them. 4 OP08 Mont Black Norland. So 5 cost 6k power, he's actually a Jaya Botanist, so not a Sky Island nor a Shandorian Warriors, but he synergizes with the Kalgara character that we have. 
Because on play, if your leader has the Shandorian Warriors type and you have a Kalgar character in play, which is only that 6 cost that we talked about earlier, add up to 1 card from the top of your deck to your life so he heals one. This is part of that Kalgar Norlin combo where at 6 dawn, you'll put down leader, swing 6, cheat out the 6 cost, take a life, so you get 1 card in hand. And then you play Norlin with the remaining 5 dawn to heal that life back, so it's like you lost nothing at all and you actually got a card in hand out of that. And yet you're able to cheat out a 6 cost and a 5 cost body on the same turn which is what makes him so strong. But again, since this card is not searchable, it's kind of hard to get it consistently. But when you have it, it's pretty devastating. And when you don't have it, your deck still runs fine. So don't worry about that. 4 OP08 Wiper, 4 cost 5k power, 2k counter. So another Sky Island, Shandorian, 2k counter for the deck. On play, you can look at the top 4 cards of your deck, reveal up to 1 upper yard and add it to your hand, then put the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in any order, and then you can play an upper yard from your hand. This is similar to the Ohm, where it's like two independent effects. So you can search top 4 for an upper yard, if you don't find one, if you already happen to have one in your hand, you can play it out. So this is just great as a 2k counter that is a flex attacking body, right? It's 4 cost 5k, that's a lot better than Satori, who's a 5 cost 5k. So if you really have nothing else to play, it's really no big deal to play out Wiper, right? He's a legit uh, body to play out, respectable in his own regard. We also run 3 starter deck 13, port gas D ace, 5 cost 7k power, and then on play, if you have 2 or less life, this character gains rush. We are at 2 or less life pretty easily, pretty often, so yeah, just getting 5 cost 7k rush is a really strong effect, in, especially in yellow. It just helps you with surprise lethals, helps you finish off your opponent when they don't expect you to have another attack in your back pocket. 3 OP05 L Thor, 1 cost event counter. Give up to one of your leaders or characters plus 2000 power for this battle, then if your opponent has 2 or less life, give that card an additional 2k power. And then on trigger, K up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost equal to or less than their life total. So. Getting an Althor trigger early is great, you can pop whatever your opponent played, but the like other 95% of the main value of this card comes in its ability to counter for 4k for 1 dawn. You do have to get your opponent to 2 life, but that's not too hard because we're like an incredibly aggressive deck. So yeah, just 1 dawn to counter for 4 is really strong in this kind of deck. You're taking life haphazardly with this kind of playstyle, so just being able to survive one extra turn to swing with your full board of attackers usually will seal the deal for you and win you the game, right? You just have to survive one volley of your opponent's attacks and then they really have no answers for you on the following turn. One OP05 200 million volt Amaru. So two dawn event on main up to one of your leaders or characters because plus 3000 power for this turn. So dawn efficient, but more than dawn efficient, right? Two dawn for 3000 power. Then if your life is at one card or less, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. So this is just for uh, getting lethals when your opponent has blockers up, right? This taps Rebecca's, Borsolino, stuff like that. It doesn't tap Sabo though, so that is kind of a pain point, like 5 cost blockers. But we won't only run it as a one of because we do run searchers, right? We have Shura who can search this, Upper Yard can search it too, and we have cards that search into Upper Yard, so it's not too hard to find an Amaru if you really need it. And then it has a trigger too, you may trash 2 cards from your hand, add up to 1 card from the top of your deck to your life, so you can save your ass, right? If your opponent accounts for like 2 attacks to kill you and you happen to trigger this, they're like 1 attack short, you live for another turn, you'll fire back with your volley of characters, you'll most likely win. <laughs> 2 OP07 Flame Split. One cost event that is a main encounter event. So you can give up to one of your leaders or characters plus 1000 power for the turn, the whole turn. Then after this, if your opponent has two or less life, rest up to one of your opponent's four cost or lower characters. So similar to, to Amaru, right? This taps a four cost. Your opponent does have to be at two or less life. So it's a little different than Amaru. Amaru needed your own life to be at one. This depends on your opponent's life being at two or less, which is again, not too hard since we're aggroing them so hard. So yeah, it just rests something and then it pays for itself, right? It goes plus 1000 power to something. But it's also great as a defensive event too. So let's say you're against a red purple law, which is I think the most relevant card that this is really uh, defensive against. You could use it to give your leader plus 1000 power to nullify a 5k attack at you. And you can also tap one of your opponent's four costs so that character can't attack. And then for every subsequent attack at you for this turn, since you buffed your leader to 1k and this 1k lasts the whole turn, they'll need to attach like Dawn to the 5k bodies to swing 6 at you. So yeah, just so yeah, just good at saving your ass in some matchups and good at like killing your opponent's ass in some others. It also has a trigger too, you could rest a 4 cost or less character, which is, yeah, not too bad. Then we run 4 OP08, the earth won't lose a 1 cost counter event. So if your leader has the Shandorian Warriors type, your leader or up to one of your characters gets plus 3000 power for this battle, then you can play an upper yard from your hand. So just one down for 3k is great already. We can only run it in this kind of deck though, in a Kalgara deck. And then it also lets you play an upper yard from hand, which can find you like a 2k or something. So it's really defensive. You could find a total of 5k counter for one down. And then it has a great 
trigger two, you draw two cards, discard one. So if you want to use it to like filter out your hand, it's great for that. And lastly, we have four OP05 Upper Yard, a one cost stage card. So just on play, look at the top of cards of your deck, reveal up to one Sky Island type card and add it to your hand. Then put the remaining on the bottom of your deck in any order. Great thing to play on your first turn, right? It's a searcher for one dawn. There's no body attached to it though, but there's other cards that interact with it. We went over it by now, so you should know, right? There's the wiper that can put it at the bottom of your deck and then you can find another upper yard or, or convert it into another Shandorian warrior type card. And then there's the other wiper, the 2k counter one that can search for it and then play it out for free. So yeah, upper yard does get a lot of mileage out of a deck like this. For starting hands, you'll want Ohm, Shura, Holy, Kalgara, Mont Black, Norlin, and upper yard. So for your first turn, whether you're going first or second, Upper Yard is great. If you're going second, Shooter is great to find the pieces you need for your following turn. You usually want to find either Ohms and Holies, because on your 4 or 5 down turn, that's one of your strongest plays, right? Playing an Ohm, guaranteeing the Holy, getting two bodies out for 4 down is a very strong tempo play to like apply pressure early and keep it up for the whole game. And yeah, if you're able to guarantee getting Kalgara and Norlin into your hand, it's like one of the strongest combos in your deck. Being able to cheat out these two bodies and then healing alive so you don't like lose anything you're getting a card in hand too because you get that card from life kalgara i would put less priority on because you can search it via shura and upper yard but norlin cannot be searched so if you happen to have norlin and you're just missing kalgara that's a better hand to keep than a kalgara hand that, that that is missing norlin so yeah this deck plays super aggressive you're cheating out multiple bodies whether it's with your leader ability or with om holy there's a kind of predetermined kind of curve I go over it in my like curve analysis video, so if you want to watch that, you can get a more in-depth detail look at it. But yeah, basically, first turn it's upper yard or Shura. Second turn you Ohm Holy. Third turn you Kalgara into Norlin, and then from there you play it by ear. After that, right, if you need extra rush bodies, you have Ace. You can cheat out Wipers to reuse your upper yards to find you more counter. Because at this point, once you flood it your board, you want to start looking for your defensive events, right? Your Earth won't lose and your Elthors. You'll take life pretty liberally. If your opponent attacks at you, you just take it. When you're at like one or zero life, that's when you're gonna have to start defending pretty heavily. But yeah, your your main like kind of goal with this deck is to beat down your opponent and then use these defensive events who are like overly like value statted, right? One dawn for 4k counter, one dawn for 3k counter to survive just one extra turn to throw another volley of like 8k attacks at your opponent or 7k attacks. It, it kind of plays similar to OP02 Whitebeard right where you're at zero life and you're playing a bunch of radical beams and guard points and stuff to just live another turn to attack again yeah and that's pretty much all i have to say about kalgara now is he a meta deck at the beginning of 08 in japan he was he was showing up in in top 32s top 16s it has slowly changed right he's faded out of uh the limelight but that's only because red purple law and luchi have been stealing the limelight Every top eight has been just those two decks and, and Black Yellow Luffy sometimes. So yeah, pretty much none of the 08 leaders have really like found a place in the meta. It's all like the old guard from the from the last meta. They just got more support in this meta, so they became even stronger. But I do have a prediction. Whatever happens to Red Purple Law on August 12th when they announced that, because this video is going out on I think the 4th. So that ban list or whatever restricted list they're going to implement is not out yet. So I don't know, maybe I'll do like an updated deck list when that comes out. But I do predict that Kalgara could come back in a space without Red Purple Law. Because Red Purple Law does what Kalgara does, but like more consistently and stronger and better and less punishing. So if Red Purple Law is nerfed, I do see a possibility of Kalgara being popular again. Especially if 09 <laughs> prints some support. But that's kind of looking to not be the case. But I'll still be hopeful. I guess I'll leave like a pinned comment in this comment section below if they update something and it's like noteworthy or I could do like an updated video too right that's two possibilities but yeah anyway enough of me yapping Kogara has been one of my favorite leaders so yeah hope you enjoyed the gameplay I'm about to show you with it we've got Kalgara versus Gekomoria we'll go second yeah all right we keep this we have uh Shura into upper yard okay they play Sindri we'll play Shura and for sure, we'll find a Kalgara and we'll pass a. Let's see, we could see a Perona, right? Oh, no Perona, but two Absaloms. We'll just play things that are too big for them to kill, hopefully. Yeah, and two eight Morias in the discard. This is what I'd like to see against the Luchi, but against Gekko Moria, they have ways to bring it back. So six of us will take Sure Trigger, sure. Uh, let's take some two Ks. All right, so four Dawn turn means leader five and we'll 
try to aim for an Ohm Holy here. There's Ohm into Holy. Perfect, perfect. We'll pass. All right, things are going as good as they could go for Kalgara. Look at the Ice Age. Could be Absalom coming out to kill my Ohm. And then one Dawn for nothing. I mean, we'll take the six. We get a Earth Won't Lose trigger. Let's keep it, actually. We have what we need. All right, so we'll play Upper Yard first. No, wait, I don't have to Dawn for this. Because I need Dawn on leader. Frick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I can do Kalgara, right. So we'll do Holy 5. They take, we'll do leader 6. We'll cheat out a Kalgara. They take, we'll play out Norland and heal and pass. Good turn, good turn. Let's see, let's organize our hand a little bit. So I want to do Upper Yard Wiper at some point, just to get these non-counters out of our hand. Okay, they Tsudu and then Saka, my Kalgara. So I can't keep healing. Maybe I should have kept one from earlier. Five at my Holy. You're going to attack into him five twice. I mean, if Norlin can't heal me anymore, I might as well defend the Holy. Yep, we'll do that. Alright, Wiper. So we upper yard. Uh, probably need some 2Ks because we have events. So we'll do Holy 5 at lead. They counter. I want to leave one Dawn up. So Dawn Kalgara. 6 at their leader. We'll cheat out a Wiper. And we'll bottom deck upper yard and find. What can I take? Another upper yard? Or a Shandorim warrior? Yeah, I can only take upper yard. Okay, they took that. Then we can play ace, so Norlin 6 at lead. They took. Maybe a lot of bricks, we'll play ace and swing 7. Oh, GG. <laughs> yeah, it's all bricks. Nice. Okay, we just aggro him down. We just ignore board. <laughs> Always swing at base. Okay, bye. Got Kalgar versus Purple Luffy. Oh, he's probably using the new starter deck. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. I don't know how to film OP08 without 8.5 showing up. Um, Ohm is nice. No, it's Mulligan. Okay, much better. Not really. Well, maybe. If you find a Ohm off of Shira, that'd be really good. Okay, so they... You're at sea to find a Taro, and we top deck a Kalgara. Perfect. Shoot into Ohm. No Ohm. Not as perfect. Take a second Kalgara. We'll pass. Yeah. Hmm. I hope you guys don't mind if it's 8.5. I'm using an 8.0 Kalgara deck, though. They attack us for 9. We'll take. Should I trigger this out? Yeah, we will. Satori out. Upper Yard. Okay, maybe Upper Yard finds us something. So we're going to call Gar Norlin next turn, but we could, we could Ohm Holy some other turn after that. And we'll do a bunch of fives at them. So here is five. I really wish Ohm was a Shandoran Warriors, but yeah, lore wise can't do anything about that. <laughs> okay, Sub 35, they counter three, leader five. Okay, that's a lot of cards out of hand that we just burned. If he counters this one, that's four cards. Yeah, we got four cards out of his hand. I like it. Ramps to 7, Taro's coming out. Yep. I am quite healthy. He's gonna attack my board. Maybe Satori. Satori, I'll save, actually. Yeah, Sangoro out. 5 at my Shura. Okay, yeah, he dies. So we'll do Satori 5. They took. Okay, leader 6. We'll cheat out Kalgara. They counter 3. That's 2 cards. We'll play Norlin and heal. Pass. Alright, he's gonna draw one card and then hit me twice. I'm fine with that, I'll take two life. And then let's hope he doesn't develop anything too scary. Okay, Zoro. Finds an Onami. Okay, they could play a blocker out. I have nothing to interact with that. Sangoro, 6 set. Satori, I'll just let him die, because I want the other two hits to hit my life. Oh, he's not attacking Satori. We'll take the 6. Uh, Earth won't lose. I will use the trigger. Discard upper yard. I have the counter to save my Satori now. Yeah, I could go for game. 
Is that worth it? I think so. We'll counter four. Five at me? Oh, we'll take that one. Okay. Oh, we can even flame split. Right? He has two life, I can tap the Nami. Yeah, I think I win. Should I go for it? I'm gonna go for it. So we'll buff my leader. Uh, oh, call Norlin. Tap the Nami. Dude. Mm, we'll do Norlin 7 first. See what happens. He took... Called Gara 9. Okay, he countered. Satori 7. He took... Leader 9? 8? And not cheat anything out? Oh, we had game. <laughs> GG, want a rematch? Okay, bye. Kalkara versus Garuta. Who's probably playing the new starter deck cards. We'll mulligan this. Okay, uh, a lot of dogs. May need a dog in this the hand. Okay, we'll beat him even if he has new starter deck cards. And actually, I think the Shanks makes this deck a little worse. You want, I guess, both Shanks and the 8 cost kid. Let me delete my message from last game. <laughs> Kalkara 5. Yeah, why does it keep the chat from previous matches? They took that. Okay, dog out pass. Okay, drawn at me. Backlight. And then we'll take that. Earth won't lose. Trigger. Sure. Uh, so I can wipe her, but I don't have the freaking stage. So we'll get rid of these two. Oh, one. Get rid of these one. Okay, with the blocker. Do holy five. What does this one do again? Okay, I can potentially find an upper yard and then play it from hand. The counter. Um, we'll just do... Oh, I can do Wiper and then Om Holy, right? That's Super Swarm. We'll Super Swarm. So six, we'll cheat out Wiper. And we get Wiper up, uh, uh, upper yard from the top of our life. So that's good. We'll play it out. Uh, Shura. Let's take a second Om. They block, we'll play out Ohm. Then we'll play out a Holy. I should probably reorder the cards. Like, put the uh, effort to do it. Because I'll probably reach them again. But how many times we search in this deck? Right, so we have four bodies on board on our five dawn turn. That's pretty good. He may not be able to afford more than one dawn on leader. Right, he might do like Brook into Nami that costs five, so one dawn leader. Oh, he just backlights my dog. And then plays Uta. And then discards a card to put Dawn on leader. That's what you do, right? Yep. Six at us. We'll take that. Another upper yard. Okay, uh, I don't have Norlin. So do I cheat out Kalgara anyway? I could play it safe and do like another Ohm Holy. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna do 5577. 55577. Yeah, we'll do that. No Kalgara, so holy five. He does have a blocker though. Out. Okay, the counter one. Wiper five. If he blocks at any point, I'll, I'll attack the blocker instead. Just wanna burn every card in their hand. There's another one. Okay, we'll do Ohm seven. They took. Peter seven. No leader ability. It took. I could die to like a I'm invincible play here. But we'll do Om Holy. And pass. So yeah, 8 cost kid. He won't have the Dawn to put on it, right? It's only... Oh no, you can put it on any character. So this plays well into 8 cost kid. But it looks like he's not doing that. 6 at Wiper will counter 2. 7 cost Luffy into another blocker Uta. Take a swing with this one. 6, okay, we'll counter 2. And that's all you got. Alright. So I can flame split this Uta. I think I will. So we'll buff Ohm, tap Uta. 7 at lead. Okay, the counter 3. 7 at lead. They took... I mean, do I have lethal? If I don't, I might die. Play up yard to find 2k. 
or L4. Yeah, L4. So I'll leave two down up. Make two more sevens. Wiper five at lead. Counter one. Holy five at lead. Counter two. Holy seven at Uta maybe. <laughs> I switched the characters now. Because I don't think I'm going to finish. Okay, Uta died. Leader seven at Uta. She died. Okay, we'll pass. Let's see if we survive but I'm invincible. Barrage of attacks here. Yeah, surprisingly, Kalgara swarms even better than, <laughs> than Uta does. Uh, editor, cut that part out where I almost choked on my own laugh. <laughs> you can probably hear it. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I'll leave it in. You guys know. I ain't trying to keep like a perfect appearance with you guys. Okay, 9 and then he'll do... 10-10. 9, 10, 10. We'll take. Flame split. Okay. Got it. I can't use it. <laughs> okay, he's going 10, 10. We'll take that and then I survive. With outdoor and Earth won't last. Earth won't lose? Earth won't lose. So Earth won't lose. Then what else can I do with it? Oh, I don't have another upper yard. Then Elthor. And you can see it's nice. You want to rematch? Does the Katakuri starter deck help this deck? Oh, I, I guess I'll explore that later. We want Bite. We've got Kalgar versus Monkey the Luffy. Hmm. I think we could work with this. Right, we have the unsearchable guy. Upper yard could help us find something. Either Dog or Kalgara. We'll take Kalgara. Pass. It should have would have been a good idea too. Kiyoi? Okay, they play Flampe. What does Gyoi mean? Is that a, is that a slur? If it is, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll re-upload this video and censor it. <laughs> okay, Flampe, Flampe. Should I just mute chat? I have nothing to play. Do I hit him? I think I hit him. I really want to hit him. So I'm going to hit him. And we'll pass. And I have Ace next turn. Maybe maybe that's enough for game. Right, because if he wants to take a life, he'll need to play like a Flampe and then two Dawn for leader. He can't play like a, a brother. A little bro. So we might have it. Okay, the Hiyori. So if they set up a little brother this way, they can't leader ability. So I'll just swing at leader for 10. That's still like 4k counter he has to use. I'm cool with that. Unfortunately, Flame Split can't tap their Sabos. Okay, it's a small ace. It's going aggro, A. Eh? 7 at me will take. 7 at me will take. We will go 10 at you. We'll cheat out a wipe or two. Should I take life? Is that, is that a good idea? No. Right, because if he's a big 9k body, this wiper can't ever hit anyway. Okay, oh, we got like four cards here. Pass. Seven at us. I think we counter now. So counter three. Because he's going to make leader like an 11. That I'll have to take. Yeah. Alright, there's another card out of hand. I need some more defensive events if I want to like cheat out a win here. Not cheat out, but like, what's the word? Mexican standoff? Is that offensive to say? Like, force him to go all out and then I just kill him on the clap back. Okay, two Luffy's out. I mean, what if I attack <laughs> 12? 12 over 9. Oh, he's not going to bring the other one out. Okay, I'll take this 11. El Thor trigger. Uh, nope. I need this to survive. Alright. So we call Gar Norlin this turn. So do 7 at... 7 at Ace. Oh, this Luffy can always pop him, right? And he'll draw a card. So I don't want that. Attack him for 7, play out to call Gar. Oh, I need active Dawn, don't I? 
I have enough counter, I hope. I hope. And I cope. Nah, I probably need a Dawn for this Althor up. I'm dumb. I'm about to lose this matchup. All because of one Dawn. He did counter two. We'll play out Norland and pass. Yeah, now that I look at it, I don't have too much counter, actually. I only have five. So that's a seven, that's an eight. Oh, he plays another Luffy out. Alright. Alright, alright. And then two down for leader ability, and then he can make a nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Well, he has barely any cards left in his hand, so he probably doesn't have any more of the little brothers. Actually, if he doesn't have any and he can't kill me this turn, I could just kill him. Okay, eight at us. We counter what we can, right? Counter four. Now there's no way he wins, unless he has an ace in hand. Yeah, ace will kill me. Unless I had an Thor up, so again, I threw. Okay, this ace is eight. Yeah, five down for ace. Break, man. We need to get. We need 1k counter from our life to survive. Or if he has the leader ability, okay. So no ace, no ace, and nine at us. We'll take that. Okay, he does leader ability. No cards in hand now. Oh no, he'll have one card in hand. So I had to hit him three times successfully. Yeah, I have, I have enough bodies. We put down on Flampe for fun. All right. Check this. So Norlin seven. He counters or whatever. That's fine. I have ace, so I win. No matter what he does. He does counter. The leader seven. He takes. Kalgara eight. He takes. And then ace for game. We win. Nice. Okay. Uh, you want a rematch? Does anyone want to rematch? Got Kalgar versus Luch. Maybe he's a 8.0, right? He didn't get anything from the new Smoker deck. We'll keep this, we'll play out Upper Yard. Let's find a Holy in case we find a Kalgara. Uh, 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 Ohm. Sorry, all the freaking Sky Island names are so similar to each other. Hmm. Maybe we just play out the dog. Yeah, we'll play out the dog. Five at lead. It took holy pass. Five dawn turn. We have nothing really. Span demand. Does he do eight at us? Another span demand. Seven at us. Who's who and Khalifa? Yeah, this is pretty much an eight OPO eight truly OPO eight battle here. Oh, he did lose a Kalgara there. We got an ace. Another dog. Do holy five. Maybe we can find an Ohm with this upper yard. So we'll play it out. Okay, uh, oh, we attack with the leader anyway. So 5 at lead. We counter 2, upper yard. We do find the ohm, nice. Ohm into holy. Pass. He could luchi here. Right, 7 at one of the holies. Kill the ohm, at least. I think that's all the capabilities he has with what he has on board. He has like a pseudo in hand, he could kill everything. Uh, but I'll protect the dog. If if that's the case. Alright, because it'd be pseudo and then Dawn Leader and then Luchi for four Dawn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nope, he's doing seven at dog and then Luchi to kill just Ohm, right? Okay, here's seven at my doggy. Bye bye. What's he got? Yeah, and then lobby, and then it could be a brook too, but he would have done eight in that case. So I think it's a Luchi. Yep. I could tell what he was gonna do because I played so much Luchi that I'm just <laughs> playing out his turn from his perspective. That's what having empathy is like. You guys wouldn't know that. Uh, we'll do five at lead. Sorry for throwing shade. Oh, you took that one. Okay. Are you re willing to take a seven here? We'll play out Kalgara. He took that, and then we'll play out Norlin. I guess, yeah, he's 8 down next turn, so he could just kill my board. Oh, he Tempest kicked my dog. Okay, we'll play out Norlin. Pass. 
So let's see. Gecko Moria can only kill Kalgara, right? Because this is minus three, and then it, he has nothing in this card that he can bring back. Oh, actually, yeah, Kalgara lives. He had like a pseudo or Helmepo. Yeah, he can only kill Norland. Unless he's got a Sabo, a cost Sabo. So five at us, we'll take. Earth won't lose. Yeah, let's use it. I don't need this upper yard. Gecko brings back just a Luchi here and nothing else. Good for me. I can hit get a 8k hit in. He has no Rebecca's either, so I think I can get him to zero. We're close to zero. Six at us. Probably should counter that. Counter two. Okay, um. So we can cheat out Wiper and then play a Norland. And that gives us three down left to work with. Right, so I can do like nine. Nine, eight. Do the eight first. That lead. It took. Maybe I want to keep one down up in case I. No, I'll heal, so I don't need it. So we'll do nine at lead. Cheat out Wiper. A little bottom deck upper yard to take a Earth won't lose, I think. No, 2k. They took, okay, zero life. Play Norland out, heal, pass. Still no Rebecca, right? Yeah, so you can't get going to Rebecca. He might have to like play it from hand and then play a Sabo after. If I was him. And I'm pretty sure if he does that, he'll have one down left over so I can defend this Kalgara. And then I'll have Ace for rush too if I need it. But, but, but yeah, two blockers out. I have enough bodies for game, I think. Okay, he lobbied Mike Norlin. Does he have a way to kill both of these? Because why'd he start with the one with less power? He must have a way. He's got a 9 card hand. It's probably like half bricks too. We'll see at the end. Okay, 5 at us. I think we do counter that, right? So now he has no way. Or if he does want to finish, he has to put down on Span Dam, which is what I want. Okay, 6 at us. We'll take... Six at us. Oh, he's gonna do a uh, Rebecca Lucci, huh? Or oh, Rebecca Sabo. So we'll counter this. So he has to use both span dams. Okay, eight at Kalgara, nine at me. We'll take that. Okay, we'll even trigger out a Satori here. Does that seal the deal for us? Still no Rebecca, right? Oh, he does have a Rebecca now. Dang it. Where'd he get that? Oh, it's seven from this guy. Okay, I want him to do seven with the other one. So, give it to me. Give me the seven. Alright, we forced him into this. Perfect. We'll counter. This to survive. And then he passes. So 35. Oh, he concedes. How many bricks was it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, half his hand is bricks. Perfect. More than half. Yeah, if we just stacked everything on Kogar, that would have won too. But yeah. Okay, we beat a meta deck. <laughs> We're meta, right? Bye. Cardi Kaizoku.